clothes, t-shirt, pants, got a bedroll, got a pistol, got a pocket knife, repair kit, and a flashlight. Oh, and some first aid bandages. Open this up. I'm trying to get, uh, let me answer. Yeah. Play game. Oh my god, there's a bike right in front of me. Connecting to the server, yep. Uh, you start out with a bike, if I remember right. And there's a lot of repairable vehicles in the world, too, including the bike. Yeah, the bike isn't, re it's repairable, I just don't have the materials for it. Right, you have to actually develop the individual skills for that. Yeah. Because you can play like the airplanes, the uh, uh, 4x4, you can, uh, if you can repair them, you can like add on the little kits and stuff like that if you have them. You know, like uh, the front grill that's uh, one big spike tile, cutter tile thing. Yeah. Yeah. Receiving and loading configurations. Alright, I need me some stones. Nope, I uh, ran right past it. There we go. Not taking anything I don't absolutely need. Trying to play this is not a grub of the loot whore. <laughs> need more rocks. Where the hell are they? Get some, uh... Feathers. Okay, a shit ton of feathers. I'm uncomfortable with the amount of feathers that I just got out of those three. The, or the nest? Uh, nest, because that leads me to believe that making arrows is extremely expensive. It is. Oh boy. Undead Legacy, it pretty much takes the grind from the early editions and puts it back into the game. How fun. But with that also comes the good stuff like different uh, POIs, you know, that were deleted from the game or, uh, you know, stuff like that, which, you know, it increased the overall arc of the story, I guess. I'm not saying it right. I'm sorry. No, I know what you're... It's progression. I, I get it. Yeah. They make it where you actually have to work for everything instead of just getting it handed to you a silver platter. That makes sense. It's like to learn how to make certain weapons, you actually have to learn the skill. You can't just get a random book that says, oh, look at me, I'm a master craftsman. Got it. That makes sense. Gather a branch. Can I just chop down a tree for a branch? Uh, wow. You want to hit the wooden bushes. The bushes yeah, that... Yeah, no kidding. Because if I remember right, you take damage or it takes forever to break. Or both. I, I have a... Um, I have a... What do you call it? I've already got the, the axe crafted up. Oh, nice. Uh, how do I unpin that? Hey, one second, Bubba. There we go. Hey, 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 bar steppers. And uh, little, uh, oh, God, what's your guys' name again? Silencers. Let's, let me try it out over there again. Hey, hey, steppers and silencers. Welcome to a new series by me and our favorite friend, Cass. Today we are playing the Undead Lacey with one of his personal mods, which is uh, head damage. Where, uh, as 
I already opened up the loot box. Look at everything you get just from opening up the initial bag. Oh, it went boom. <laughs> we got clothing that we're starting out with already. Nice. Did you get clothing as well, Cass? I did. I did. Cool, oh, sorry. Cool. I think I'm supposed to do... Since I have no idea where you are, I'll... I can talk to you on the radio. <laughs> you can do that. Mother. Mother. <laughs> Brawler zombie. <laughs> All right, all right. What the hell do we? I can't remember. How do we team up? Like, uh, hit I. Okay. And ah. it should show you the friend list. Party allies. Okay. Such so be invites. All right. Give me a second to get into it. Sorry. Allies and party. Damn, you're 3.2 away from me. That's going to be a hell of a walk. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, and I started right by an awesome POI we could have used to the construction one. Seven hour parking. Are you still with me, Cass? I'm still here. Can't you hear me? Uh, it's not reading too well. It's a good idea, but... How's this? Much better. Thank you, thank you. No worries. Uh, the, uh... The voice, uh, program doesn't work all the time. Just figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, yeah, if you want, we can, um... We can still... We can use that POI. I, I see you on my heads-up display. Oh, uh, you're 3.2 kilometers from me, bro. Oh, yeah, dude. I, I see that. I'm hauling ass towards you right now. Oh, there's a Mustang right here. Oh, please be drivable. <laughs> please be drivable. It seriously doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. Remember... Oh, it's a, yeah, sorry, it's not a, not a Mustang. I'm going to piss off some car aficionados here. Ooh, rent. <laughs> um, it's a Phantom. Eh, it's basically the same. Yeah, more or less. I'm um, running to you! I'm coming, my friends! Don't die! Yeah, just remember that the zombies... The weak zombies are fast, the strong zombies are slow. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. We'll have to fill everyone in on our plans for this once we find the meetup. Damn, go down, dude. <laughs> they are hard. For, for the love of God. For the love of Pete. My face constantly. Was he trying to kiss yeah. you? Yeah. See how he is. Not in a flattering way. Oh, he's trying to eat your face. Damn zombies. Don't run like that once. <laughs> Poor shame. She was hot. Yeah. Ah. The crazy ones usually are. <laughs> yeah, my dad used to say if they look like they fell face first into a tackle box or a magic markers box, they're probably not worth your time. Um, come to find out, my dad was just trying to uh, make it easy for me. <laughs> Ooh, I think I have enough to make a bone knife. Please don't chase me. Please don't, don't chase me, you Cow. You fat cow! Name that movie. I have no idea. I'm sorry. Uh, let me try to do from that. Uh, see if I remember it. Uh, oh, God. It's been so long since I've said it. Uh, oh, medicine out the wazoo. I just came across, oh, sugar honey iced tea. How did you go? Curse, curse you. Oh, curse, curse is on your ancestors. Curse is on you. Curse is on your cow. Oh, uh, Mulan. Yep, my favorite, one of my favorite American animations. Hell yeah, I love Mulan. I will 
sing that song every time it comes on anything. The, uh, Fight Like a Man? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're getting closer, man. So in the, oh, we have carry weight, okay. Yes, you don't have, it doesn't give you many, uh, full slots, like, limited by slots, it's limited by weight. So, when you go to try to pick up a car, like in Vanilla, you can run all the way places with it. In this game, in this overall, yeah, good luck moving. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Uh, Quake tried to uh, make the right amount of realism with the uh, gameplay. So, I like that. He... Yeah, uh, it's like with the whole food poisoning and stuff like that. He knows how annoying it is as a gamer, but at the same time, to actually be able to cook that meal for the first time and get no buffs on it, no uh, debuffs on it, yeah. Ooh, damn, dude, you're halfway dead already. I have been hauling ass towards you and basically poking everything that moves. Dude, if it looks angry, don't poke it. Look at that one, uh, uh, uh that one Ozzy that did that. He kept poking things until they poked back and he died. Yeah, he, rest in peace, Steve. He, he was one of my idols. Oh, yeah. He, I think he was one of the global, the globe idols, you know. Yeah. How many, he was, he was one of the holy trinity. There was Bob Ross. Yep. Who taught you to love yourself. Steve Irwin, who taught you to love nature. Yeah. Steve Rod and uh, Fred Rogers, Mr. Rogers, who taught you to love your neighbor. Yep. Unfortunately, if I recall correctly, all three of them are gone, aren't they? Uh, yes. Fred Rogers passed on, um, recently, actually. That was when they did that movie about him. Um... And Bob Ross passed away, I want to say, 15 years ago. No, no, no. Bandage time. Yeah. <laughs> Don't die, man. Don't die. Don't do it. I am trying not to, but the way I have to fight, I basically have to back up while I'm poking them. And so I'm going to run ass first into a zombie. I just know I am. A uh, trick I found with Undead uh, Legacy is you're basically to fight them in the very beginning. You gotta dance with them. Yeah. Um, I am a fat white guy. <laughs> I don't know how to dance. Oh, I'm a fat white guy too. We don't need a dance. If I have a seizure on the dance floor, it's an improvement. We don't need to dance, we just need to shuffle our feet around and make it look like we're dancing as we're watching our asses, don't you know? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. I am going to go for a little experience. Ah, I need scrap iron anyway, never mind. Well... Scrapping cars on my way. Oh, shit. Well, you go for experience, just remember some experiences are best not lived. Woo! Yeah, no kidding. Like getting eaten? <laughs> getting eaten? Uh, there's a lot of things that's best not to experience. Just cause. No wonder why you're getting your ass kicked and I'm getting my ass kicked. We're in the middle of a freaking metropolis. Dude, we are so fucking squishy. This is not fun. <laughs> well, I mean, it is fun, but. Annoying. I'm used to having a little more. I don't know, meat on my damn bones? Yeah, welcome to Subquake's Nightmare. No, it's it's masterfully done. I, I like the UI and whatnot. I'm a big fan of War of the Walkers, personally. Yeah, that's definitely uh, one I would like to try with you uh, at a later date. Yes, absolutely. War of the Walkers is probably my favorite. Um, but that's one where I, I strongly recommend that the headshot mod that I I wrote that I can turn it back up because mm -hmm. it, in the final hordes 
the doing a thousand times damage to a head still doesn't take out the rads. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, I, I was playing, so I played it on my channel for a little bit, and hell, it might not be out before this one is, but, or it might not all be out before this one is. Uh, let me put on a bandage before I go get my ass handed to me by Skinny Pete. Yeah. You know why they call him Skinny crazy. Pete, right? What? You know why they call him Skinny Pete, right? Why? Because he got Skinny Peter. Ooh, I just about ah. blew up. You know what I mean, Burn? Don't do that. <laughs> oh, go down, bitch. Stay down, bitch. <laughs> okay, so one of the reasons that I like Undead, or, um, War of the Walkers so much is because they've changed the sound, so it doesn't sound like the zombies are running up behind you when you kill them. Mm hmm. Um, I just killed the. the you know, Skinny P, or whatever his name is. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, what the fuck are you? Are there survivors in this? There are, but I'm not a survivor! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> fucking you! You <laughs> bitch! All right. Get the shit out of me, dude. <laughs> ah, you're playing a winner. Sorry about the scare. Sorry, not sorry. We are playing a war. You, you good, That's good, like... You look really good, actually. Like, my guy's kind of like a hobo. At least your guy, like, you have a tan and perfectly coiffed hair. Um, by the way, you were getting chased by pizza. If you want to go after him. Yeah, no. I actually came over uh, and trying to grab you and said, Let's get the hell out of here, mister, before we die. Are you seriously back to fighting Pizza the Hut? Yep. You're gonna die. Yep. Running. Shit! Dude, just haul ass somewhere. Where the hell are you? I hear ya. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I have a broken leg. Air bullets! <laughs> Now I'm bleeding out. No! Now you see why I said let's run? Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn it. Yep. Well, I have no idea where I'm going to spawn. You're right next. Uh, you were right next to me. <laughs> well, I was. And then I died. And what's. Oh. I bled out. <laughs> oh, shit. Trying to save you and I died. <laughs> Where are we now? Uh, uh, you're only 312 meters away from me. Hell yeah. I need to eat and drink. Yeah, me too. I was just noticing that. That's another thing that he does with his uh, death debuffs. You actually uh, lose food and water as well as your normal. Well, that's, that's fine. That is a perfectly acceptable problem. Now... You also I, lose points in your skills, by the way. Yeah, I saw that. My action skills. That, that you're I'm running... That me off, but that's actually pretty fair. Yeah. You, his whole goal with this game, with this overhaul, was to make it, you know, you really appreciate what you get, but at the same time... It makes you pay for just being reckless. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're, you're I got a little balls. Yeah. <laughs> I had only been taking on one zombie at a time up to that point, so. But the problem when you get in the cities, uh, they 
their screams draw other zombies to you. Got it. So. Hey, uh, before you run off and all that stuff, don't forget to check for, like, um, other materials. At this point, I'm just trying to get, um, experience <sighs> enough to level up. Uh, let's see. And mining and excavation is kind of my thing. So, like, when it comes to chopping down trees and digging out ores, like, that's the fun part for me. Yeah. Try not to waste your carpenter like axe. Try to what? Not to waste your carpenter axe. I don't have one. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I, I got one. Cool. Hold up. <laughs> Sorry, I froze for a second. You still there? Yep, right here. Yeah, I don't have a carpenter's axe. I still have a stone axe. I haven't placed down my carpenter's table yet. Uh, neither did I. You Maybe. I got one in loot. Good job. Yeah. Oh, is there a shovel? Yes. Uh. Hey! Is there like a stone shovel? Scrap uh, scrap shovel. I don't think there's a stone shovel anymore. We haven't, we haven't researched it yet. Yeah. We need to be able to re- oh, fuck. Yes. Um, okay. What have you got on your timer anyway for, um, day one? Because I know that we said we were going to- Okay. We're here. We're here now. Let's tell everybody our plan. Um, and I, I'm going to- put it up for kind of a vote-ish, but, um, but I know we're going to have a couple episodes already recorded by the time they see it, so why don't you go ahead and tell everybody what it is that we're going to try and do for the first little bit, and how long we're going to be doing it. Alright guys, I'll give you the lowdown. And I'm going to punch bushes while you do that. I let Cash talk me into it. We're playing a montage of death scenes. All it's going to be is us dying, okay? That's it. Just us dying. That's going to be the entire series. <laughs> All right. Um, so, the basic breakdown is we are doing 21 days as a goal. We want to survive for 21 days. Uh, we downloaded uh, a mod called uh, to basically get grenades and call down... Uh, flight, uh, airdrops. And as we progress through the game, we're going to gradually grade up the difficulty schedule, the difficulty level, by increasing not only the difficulty in the zombies, and the amount of zombies we're facing, but the frequency of the blood moon, as well as the loss of supplies. We are not playing with uh, we have loot respawn disabled. So we are playing at what? Three hundred percent cast. Three hundred percent because nothing is ever coming back. So it's basically like a real zombie apocalypse. Once you get, uh, once you pick a town or POI dry, there's nothing you can do. It's gone. Just like in the real life, if the world was shut down by a zombie apocalypse. You get what you get, and that's all you get. That cover it pretty much, bro. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, um, so we uh, we were going to attempt, and we still may attempt. Right now, I'm having second thoughts, but we're going to attempt the nomadic life for the first three horde nights, like uh, Far Stepper was saying. Um, so we're going to bunker down in a POI for horde night. Um, maybe we'll start construction on a permanent base, but we will not be spending Horde Night in the same place twice for the first three weeks. Then uh, we'll go from there and, uh, and figure out something else. We could, uh, if, you, if uh, step, the step is the silencers want, we could actually put in a pole. And ask them whether they want us to continue to do a nomadic, or if they want us to do stationary base. Agreed. Let, let the fans decide. Hells to the yeah. And if you guys don't decide, the hell with you. We'll decide. 
Too bad. <laughs> well, let me put it to you this way. If you guys don't decide, um, then we will make stupid choices and you will have to watch them. Well, I'll let Cash make the stupid choices and I'll just laugh while we both die. Yeah, <laughs> I try. You're still blaming me for getting eaten by Pizza Hut, aren't you? I am. I am. Remember, nobody out pizzas the hut. Except the okay. pizza. Yeah, except the pizza. Okay, so what's our next plan? And by the way, you are thirsty and hungry. So and I, I got eggs. But I have eggs too, and they have a ten percent chance of dysentery. I would like to avoid shitting my yeah, pants. Yeah, same. Uh, first things we need to do is we need to decide which environment we want to live in, and I choose looking for the snow biome. The snow biome, you say? Yes. That okay. way, we will never have to worry about water again. Okay. And would you like to share with our um, viewers why the snow biome is a good idea? And then I'll share why it's a bad idea? Sure. I believe it's a good idea because, one, the loot, uh, the loot grab is a hell of a lot better than in the forest biome every day of the week. Hell yeah. And there's plenty of animals in the snow biome for food. And... Also, you never have to worry about water, because all you have to do is melt the snow down for your water. And it actually, the snow actually replenishes in the snow biome by uh, random weathers. The snow actually builds back up. Oh, sweet. I didn't know that. Oh, hey, your turn. Why should we not? Mountain lions and dire wolves are much more frequent in uh, in the uh, snow biome. However, like you said, they're also good for food. Um, and you, uh, hell, at this point, I'm just saying, you're right, we should just move to the snow biome. Because, um, like you said, the loot stage is absolutely bitching in the snow biome. Um, but it's not as bad as the waste. It's not as good as the wasteland or the desert. As far as loot, but at least you have more of a chance of surviving. Because in the desert, there's a good chance you'll just die of dehydration or overheat. And in the wasteland, you'll just die over and over and over again. You'll either die eating something or die getting eaten by something. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, so um, a little a little uh, tip for our viewers. We will constantly be talking about loot stage, and we will be talking about game stage. If you press I on your keyboard to be playing the game, you'll see uh, it'll say zombie kills, player kills, deaths, level, zombie stage, whatever. Um, it's, it's all the stats that come with a multiplayer game. In this case, uh, this is my first time playing with somebody else, but I do pay attention to this in my single player stuff. Uh, under game stage, it says one. That is a math equation that is your level times uh, your level times how many days you've been alive minus how many deaths you have and that tells you how how many bad guys there are going to be how hard horde night's going to be right now if we had a horde night each of us would have to kill two zombies and that would be it but if we get up to say level 10 by horde night we'll have like 50 zombies apiece that we have to kill um, loot stage used to be the same as game stage it is not anymore but in the forest biome, it's somewhere between like five and 10% less than everywhere else. So even at the best stages, you're not gonna get good loot out of the forest. The forest is like your easy stage. Then it goes desert, snow, and wasteland in that order because the burnt biome is no longer a thing. All right. It isn't in vanilla. But, uh, it's not, uh, it's not on this one either, I don't think. Uh, let's hurry up and try to find either random POI out here or the snow bomb where we... Ooh, chicken! Chicken, chicken, chicken! Get him! Get him! Oh, that reminds me. Um... No, it disappeared. Nope, there it is. Come here, chicken! 
We need you for food. Stone arrow. I have the stuff for the stone arrow, but I can I pick up the carpenter's bench if I put it down? Uh, I believe so. Is, is that a thing in this game? Actually, in Undead Lacey, you can pick up uh, everything. Everything? If I remember correctly, yes. God damn, that is so cool. Oh, wait, upgrade? We can upgrade our um, stations? Uh, actually, it's a requirement. See, as you progress in Undead Legacy, uh, you have to upgrade your workstation to be able to learn new uh, recipes. It's just like if you have a stone workbench, you know, you're not going to make a titanium alloy right. sword. So you're going to make stone axes and stuff. But as you learn more, you'll, you'll need to upgrade your workstation to be able to build more. And the chicken got away. Yes. I wasted more calories there, trying to find it. Is there a way to scrap, uh, like, weapons and tools? Uh, you should be able to scrap it in your uh, inventory. Open up your inventory How section. Scrap the gun. Uh, the gun. Uh, the I, mongrel. Yeah. Do you, have a, do you have a bone shiv? Not yet. Here, I'll craft you one. Alright. I have a ton of bones because I've been chopping up every dead Bambi on the road. Yeah, there's going to be... You'll find out the problem, though. It's in the output. Uh, output, output. Where is the output? Can you not see it? Take Can iron ore. Hold on. Here, on the ground. On the ground. Alright, uh, now try picking that up. Hold E. It's not gonna let me because it's uh, damaged, so. Oh, damn. Damn it. Nope. I don't have a repair tool for it. Nope. Well, it's giving me firewood. Oh, and by the way, I um, personally, and I didn't actually okay this with you, I guess. But, uh, personally, I don't like the idea of nocturnally empowered zombies. I'll be fine with the blood moon. Yeah. But, uh, but as far as, like, zombies that get stronger at night and faster at night, uh, that's not... Yeah, that's just zombies stupid. Zombies the same speed day and night. Here. Yeah, I agree 100% with that. Oh, and to explain what we did with the zombie mechanics. So I had a theory that... Uh, sorry, I'm winded. Um, I had a theory that... Zombies that were newly infected were still limber from, you know, not being dead so long, so they're fast. Those bastards can haul ass towards you. However, the zombie, though, we've got an Arlene on the left and a Karen on the right. Let's take Arlene. Um, new zombies are going to be uh, faster. What is that? Loot bags. Oh, get it. Yes, the loot bags have been returned from the poor zombies from the original one. Alright, here you go. Come saw. Give oh, you something. It? Where'd it go? I am going to give you a bandage. Oh, thank you. It's I not going to help a lot because we're starving to death and whatnot, but it'll help uh, put it off a little bit longer. We got another zombie. Where the fuck are you? Up here on the hill. Careful, there's a skater right behind you. I'm gonna try and take out this, uh, this. Oh, shit. Headshot. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, uh, but we're doing an hour 24 cycle, right? Half hour day, half hour night, or something like that? Yeah, uh, it's 18 hour daylight, so it's. Um, 40, 20? Yeah, 40 and minutes of day. Go ahead. Yeah, and for the, sake, for the sake of episodes, we're probably going to grind through the night when we finally get a place set up. 
uh, and that way you guys don't have to deal with uh, us doing the boring stuff. Unless and you want we'll to. Record during the daylight. Unless you want to, let us know, of course. We always want to appease the audience. Yes, absolutely. Okay, no more scavenging, no more looting. We need to get. Yeah, I'm about to slurp down a bunch of eggs like Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know what? That's actually a good idea. Screw it. If I get this Terry at this stage. Well. Is, is, there, a, is there a scent mechanic in the game? Like, or uh, a mod? Not that I know. Like if you shit your pants, the zombies can smell you better. I know that a couple of the new mods like Rebirth have that. I don't think so. Oh my god. Have I really managed to do... I have managed to eat seven eggs without getting dysentery. I'm not going to push my luck. Oh, hold on. Uh, before you run off... Yes? Let me see if I can... Uh, how do I drop? Drop? You got something to drink, my chick? Uh, I don't. I have a bunch of um, other stuff, but there's two first aid items. I came across an ambulance uh, a little while ago. Oh, nice. So okay, I so just got... in east? Yeah, this way. I'm pretty sure if we continue this way, we'll get there. I hope so. Uh... I have a really, really hard time passing up loot. Yeah, same. I'm a freaking loot whore. Oh, me too. Hey, look at us. A bunch of whores on a road trip. <laughs> We're hauling ass. We're a couple of whores hi out hiking, looking for a next trick, okay? There you go. Uh, Chicken. Good luck. <laughs> You'll waste more calories going after it. At least I did. Yeah. Don't forget, you should have a flashlight. Uh. Oh, shit. Shit. Are you dead? Are you bitter, or can we get something from their corpses? Uh, we can't, uh, no, I was going a little crazy there. There's a skinny pea right in front of you. I'm just running, bro. It's almost yeah. night. Yeah. I'm hauling too. What you got on your timer anyway? I got 2151. No, 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 sorry. Uh, I meant, like, until we're done recording and we can just haul ass through the night. Uh, I will actually... Let you go that I forgot to hit the start on my timer. Uh, we are currently at 52 minutes. I figure when we hit the hour mark, because I started recording as soon as I started loading the map. Yeah. So once we hit the hour mark, we'll swap it over. And for our viewers, that sound means the night has fallen. Now, where the fuck? Okay. All right, guys. We're going to, uh, we're going to go, I'm going to, uh, leave stuff recording, chances are it won't be in unless something fun happens. Yep. So, that's so. going to be on my night file. So, I will see you on the next recording, y'all.